Hey buddy, my name's Adam. I have facts as inflammatory as hemorrhoids. Oh God, I'm a, I have to throw around allegedly about this because I have a reliable source on what's going on. This is very, very, it's just huge, it's gargantuan. Well, this is a, Ethan Van Skyver might be being investigated by ICE. Because one of my sources, you know, like Ethan Van Skyver has done a bunch of shady shit. He called the feds on him. You know, like, he was just shade fucking master. And there's an interesting development with the funding of Cyberfraud. There might be hidden money. And shit like that. And I and so I don't get sued and I am not being held liable. This is all I'm using the word allegedly. Well, allegedly he basically has been talking about cryptocurrency on the live streams he does, you know, like or in videos. And the whole thing is, you know, like allegedly he might be paying Ro Khmer Kubar, the leader of war campaign, you know, in cryptocurrency to show for him and protect him, which is basically racketeering and being mini mafioso. And he's trying to you know, like be like Al Capone. You know, like he did some really, you know, he was a gangster. Yes, he's done some really horrible things, but. He wasn't took, taken in for all the, you know, like, racketeering, you know, breaking prohibition laws and shit like that. He went to prison for income tax evasion. So, Ethan might be buying crypto, you know, like, and having it, you know, like, float around because it's really hard to track. It is. It's very difficult to track from the government. And ICE, besides um, deporting illegal immigrants that are here, that came here, you know, like, without going through the proper channels and immigration, they basically, uh, wow. You know, like, investigate financial misappropriations and shit like that. See, and this is really strange, I think, because allegedly, this is also what happened. He tried laundering money through real estate and him money laundering through real estate and shit like that he could of uh, potentially allegedly got in trouble with the feds See, and this will make, this will be a downfall for it. You know, like, it'll come plummeting down, finally. And I am glad that he's going to be going down hard. See, and I think my source and friend that I'm going to, I wish to, uh, him to remain, them to remain anonymous, that he has been a wonderful source. Thank you again, and until next time, I'm signing off. Take care, take it easy, stay safe out there. Have a good one. Oh, and a final thought. This is worse than Peter David skipping out on his income taxes, too. And until next time, I'm signing off, and I will see you around.
wait a second, he owed $88,000 from skipping out on income taxes. He's a comic book writer. He writes the funny books. And he had a GoFundMe where people donated to get him out from serving prison. It's like, wow, he's he doesn't have accountability. Until next time, I will see you guys around. Take care. Take it easy.